like, I wear this for fun. I can fly. Good morning, you guys. So right now it's around like 8.30 in the morning. I've been up for like the last maybe three hours. I wanted to pick up an international trip and they'll open up usually like early in the morning. Well, I got one. We are going to Munich, Germany. So <laughs> the check-in time is around 2.20. I'll probably start getting ready pretty soon, eat some breakfast, pack my stuff and go. Let's get ready to go overseas. <laughs> okay, so I just stopped at CVS, but now I'm on my way to the airport. I gave myself a little bit of extra time to kind of study my position and figure out what I'm gonna be doing. And always you need to know your emergency drills from your position. So I will see you guys really shortly at the airport. Oh, also my husband is from Germany, but he's in between Cologne and Frankfurt. And he said that there's a friend of his that lives in Munich that might be able to meet up with me. So we might all get to meet a local tomorrow who's a friend of my husband, but yeah. All right, see you guys at the airport. I just tried to get into the employee lot and we have like swipe cards and for some reason mine is not working. And then the guy tried to tell me, oh, you have to circle around and get out. And I was like, well, how am I supposed to get in here? He's like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, I work here. And he's just like, what? And I like handed him another card and I was like, I work here. How am I supposed to park? He's like, oh, just go in and uh, try another one tomorrow. Like I wear this for fun. <laughs> Okay, anyways, I'm gonna get my stuff out of the Jeep and I will see you guys in the airport. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we're officially here. So exciting. Also, as many of you know, I did get a new camera. I just wanna thank you guys so much because your love and support of my channel has made it possible for me to upgrade all of my stuff. So I really, really wanna say thank you. All of the money I have made off of this channel, I have thrown back in. So hopefully I can give you better content, better videos, more exciting stuff. But until I figure that camera out, we're still on the iPhone for now. But anyways, so here's the room. What did I do with the room key? And that's on. Perfect. Oh, so here's the cute little bathroom. And a little bar. How cute. And then here's the room with a double bed. Big old TV. Oh, you guys. Insane. Okay. Not much of a view. <laughs> Not a view at all, but that is totally okay. So I'm gonna hit up my husband's friend, probably take a little bit of a nap, maybe just like a couple hours, and then time to explore. Ah. Okay, you guys, so I'm getting tired. I just talked to my husband's friend, Philip. He's gonna be meeting me at the hotel between three or four, so I have a little bit of time to sleep and get ready. And then he's gonna be showing me around and helping me find this bread. I'm probably gonna butcher the name. I think it's called um, Bauenbrot. It's like farmer's bread for my husband. So for any Germans out there, do not come for me. I know that was probably wrong. I'm just like, oh. Okay, anyways, <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna be exploring around and so hopefully we can show you some really really cool stuff But until then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> See you in a bit guys Good morning. I'm still pretty tired. I could have kept sleeping, but I was like time to get up I slept through five alarms <laughs> But anyways, it's a little after two right now, so I'm gonna start getting ready. If I have enough time, I might go down to Lidl. It's just like a little bit down the street. It's like a grocery store, and they have lots of stuff. I know we have some Lidl's in the States, so I don't know exactly how they're gonna compare. But yeah, so that's kind of the plan. Hey guys, so I'm all ready. So now we're gonna go ahead and go across the street to Lidl. I let Philip know I'm not gonna have service for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So yeah, let's go check out the grocery store. <laughs> The grocery store is pretty much the same as like an American store, just with German products, but I did notice the entrance and the exit, two completely separate things. I was, no, sorry. I was like trying to go out, I guess the entrance, but like it, it doesn't even work. Like in the States, you can like play ignorant and go through the, the entrance when you're exiting, but here, nope. <laughs> Let's go explore. I think we're going down to um, the city center and the train station and oh, so excited. Okay, you guys, so we wandered 
everywhere. I kind of wanted to be like a little bit more respectful to them and not be vlogging the entire time that I was supposed to be spending with them, especially since it's a family friend, you know what I mean? So I recorded this a little bit differently. I'm going to be doing basically a voiceover to explain what you're going to be seeing and I'm going to roll some B-roll footage on top of this so y'all can experience it and see it with me and I can explain what's going on. But at the same time, I did want to be as kind and as nice to them because they were showing me the entire city and not everybody likes a camera in their face so in order to be respectful but still give you all the footage that I owe you that you would love to see this is how we're gonna do it so to start off with we were exploring the city we went into this beautiful church um they were doing like a small ceremony or something like that inside but when you go in it is like this grand thing Munich is known for this church but you are not allowed to film inside of the church so in order to be as respectful to them as possible especially those who were in service i was not about to whip my camera or my cell phone out so i do apologize that y'all cannot see the footage of inside the church itself but i actually think that's for the best after the church we went exploring the city there is so much cool stuff to see so many markets so many shopping so much everything it's just like sensory overload just the whole entire city is clean it's beautiful it's just i it's beautiful i don't even know better words to say than there's just amazing amazing pretty cool awesome stuff so after we ended up exploring a little bit more we went to go eat and i wanted the full bavarian experience and i definitely got it this restaurant was amazing i made sure to order something that was locally sourced and just everything that Munich kind of captures so i was originally going to do like a schnitzel but then i saw that this was one of their delicacy dishes so i went and ordered it it was kind of like a pork piece with fried pork skin on top and a gravy and then it had like a homemade dumpling and a side of slaw now the pork is just butter and the dumpling and the gravy so good i was not a fan of the slaw to be honest it wasn't a sauerkraut i'm not exactly sure what kind of slaw it was but it wasn't for me it was a little bit too vinegary but everything else was so good that was awesome that was an awesome place especially to see like all the outfits and stuff very cool and just to let y'all know those like typical like german outfits that a lot of people in the states would think of people there actually wear them especially like the older generation they wear it it's not uncommon so i thought that was kind of funny but also kind of cool and then after we ended up eating they took me over to a couple bakeries which were unfortunately closed and then finally we found the bakery so many cool fresh baked goods the breads the the dumplings the streusel it all smells so good so good but they helped me pick out some farmer's bread or some bowen roll so this is the bread we got and it smells just like so fresh and so good so hopefully my husband really likes that i just the smell the smell so after we left the bakery we ended up going and exploring a little bit more seeing more buildings and museums and stuff and then we came upon the english gardens so beautiful so beautiful i cannot explain how it felt to stand there in person it's so clean and so pretty they were like dancing inside the cathedral the whole thing was just beautiful like that's one of those places that you stand and you just really kind of reflect on life and all of like the world's beauty that was so awesome so once we left the english gardens and we were still kind of heading down just wandering around we were passing so many more buildings and it's so funny because there's such history and the architecture and the detail to all of that stuff so then after we were making our way past some of these buildings we went upon something i believe she said it's kind of called like the ice river or ice water i could be wrong on the name of that ice something but they surf it so they basically made this man-made like stream river thing and it's rushing and they surf it and they are good there are some guys out there that were doing flips and twirls and all sorts of really cool stuff that was amazing to see but they call it ice water or ice river because it is so cold and they get out there in these full wetsuits and surf it so kudos to them you are so talented but oh my gosh i can't imagine what that water feels like because even christina was saying she got in it in the summer and it was still cold so kudos to all of you guys who think that is 
so much fun because it was really cool to watch. So after we kind of left where they were surfing, we just went along like the riverside and again, more buildings, lots of cool water views. Again, so clean and so beautiful. Like Munich is really and truly such a clean city, which is amazing because you're not really seeing people out there cleaning it, yet it stays really, really clean. So I appreciated that. So whoever is working behind the scenes, you are doing an awesome job. So that city looks so beautiful. So at this point, we kind of started walking back towards the hotel and on the way we stopped at the original Hofbrau house, which is like this huge beer room. So you get in there and there's so many people eating and drinking, kind of like this huge pub and it is the original one. I don't even know how to describe it, but there's like so much energy and apparently they have like polka musicians that will play in there. They were like... I guess that they were taking a break whenever we came in there, so we didn't get to see that. But the room itself, I can't explain. It's so loud in there from all of the people kind of talking and chattering and everything and all the pictures, like exactly how you picture Germany in like your stereotypical mind kind of thing. That is this building, okay? That is exactly this building and that energy and that vibe of this whole entire building. So that was really cool to check out. So then when we were leaving the Hofbrau house, we were kind of going along and heading again back to the hotel and as we're heading back to the hotel it's getting dark outside and suddenly it turned into like this huge art and lots of music kind of place it was so cool I mean there's a lot of people that you could tell are like getting ready for that nightlife they're kind of lining up in like the club area stuff but then you have the street musicians that come out and they're playing all along the sides there are so many of them and so many different kinds of music like check this out <laughs> amazing to see and apparently Philip was telling me that you actually have to go through a lot of stuff in order to be able to play on the street like that apparently you have to have like certain paperwork and certain things that say that you are allowed to play out there and there's a lots of rules and I think you have to move about every 15 minutes or so so that is crazy and kudos to y'all that y'all are out there doing exactly what you love because it made the city feel so beautiful and just the music and you're just in awe it was very very cool this entire trip has been amazing and i'm so glad i got to share it with all of you if any of you get a chance to check the city out i highly recommend it it was such a beautiful very very cool city and thank you so much to philip and christina for taking me out and letting me see the city i would have never gotten this experience especially from people who actually live here if it wasn't for y'all i'm probably gonna chill out start charging up all of my stuff also you guys pro tip so this is my converter right here and then I have this port that I showed you on my target haul which if you haven't seen check that out and then I have my watch my tablet and my phone all charging right now so that's actually really really cool so for future reference anybody who is traveling try and get one of these because it helps so much so there you go guys that's my international hack for you but it really does help especially if you do only have one converter that helps me be able to charge like multiple things at the exact same time so there's a little tip for you Good morning you guys so it's about four in the morning right now i've been up for a good hour just kind of like laying in bed hoping i would go back to sleep but it did not work so breakfast is at 6 a.m van times at 6 30 I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna like shower now and start getting ready and chill out for a bit because I cannot manage to go back to sleep. Which is fine because on the flight back we get crew rest. So on this flight, I think crew rest is usually like two to two and a half hours. So yeah, I'm gonna start getting ready for this flight now. <laughs> it's officially six o'clock, I'm all ready to go. So all my stuff is already packed up and good to go. So I'm gonna head downstairs and do breakfast. Then it's time to go back to the airport. I'm kind of sad to be leaving this one. It was so nice. But yeah, so let's go get some breakfast because I have heard nothing but good things about it. Okay, you guys, just left customs. Heading to the employee lot now. <laughs> All right, we made it. We are back in the car. 
Also, for all of my flight attendants that are watching this, Charlotte got rid of their crew line. There is no longer a crew line in custom. So get your global entry. I need to get mine. Cause right when I thought I was like hot snot on a silver platter cutting ahead, I was pleasantly reminded I'm just cold boogers on a paper plate. But anyways, you guys, this trip was amazing. Thank you all for joining me and have a good one. Bye. <laughs>